Yep, I walked into a fixture. I could not find it on the website. So I was like, what? what? So here's my update for you. Feels like I'm wearing pajamas. I thought I would um, answer one of the questions that I actually got on my last video and it was about my hair and how I keep it so shiny and initially I was like mm, I don't do much but when I got thinking about it there are a few things that I do and there are a few things that I never ever 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 do so I'm gonna start with the products that I use because I think these have over time made a difference and the first one is something that I could not recommend more um this is my l'oreal paris ever pure shampoo honestly it smells like it's kind of it smells almost almost like a men's cologne it says iris but anyways this has no sulfates it is meant for blondes but i mean i'm not full blonde and i still use it the main reason i got this was because it has no sulfates in it sulfates um i was told by my hairdresser are a big no-no so when she told me that i went on a hunt for a shampoo that had no sulfates in it and when i say that this makes a difference to my hair wow like my hair feels so soft so healthy after i use this shampoo it's a little bit expensive so if it is on sale stock up which is what i do because it's not the cheapest shampoo at like your drugstore and then the next two products are ones that i don't use all the time but um I think are very good products to have so the first one is olaplex this is uh the hair perfector number three repairs and strengthens all hair types so this is not a conditioner it's not a hair mask it's it says it's a bond builder so um you should use it before you actually wash your hair so the way i use this um it says here to leave it on for no less than 10 minutes but what i do is um i will at night i will put my head in the sink and get my ends wet and then I will apply this put it up in a bun and then keep it in my hair overnight and then in the morning I will wash it out and go through my normal hair washing routine with my shampoo and conditioner whatever conditioner I'm not picky with conditioners um, but this is something I especially use after I have colored my hair because after I color my hair I find that my hair is like the weakest and it's very brittle and I need some extra love. So highly recommend, especially if you're getting your hair colored um, and bleached, this is very good. Again, I don't use this all the time. It says to use two to three times a week. I don't do that. I have never done that. <laughs> and the last thing, again, I don't use this all the time. I use this when I need it um, and when I feel like my hair is dry, so especially again after I get it colored. But if you're someone who has dry hair this is something that you could probably use every single day and um it's probably gonna be really good for you so this is the argan oil oil treatment this one i especially use on my ends you never want to use this in your root because it's going to make it very oily and very flat but this is really good um after after not before after you have curled your hair and again like i said if you're someone with really really dry hair um i would actually put this on after you shower and your hair is starting to dry put this on um and leave it in if you are someone who washes their hair and blow dries it and straightens it right away do this after but i'm someone who showers at night and i do that at night and so that leads me to the things that i never ever do one i never wash my hair every single day no i wash my hair once a week maybe twice a week um this is one laziness and two for me it's really important not to be curling my hair every single day this dries your hair out it damages it with the heat so if i wash my hair once a week that means i curl it entirely once and then for the rest of the days i'm just kind of touching it up um the second thing is i 
never wash my hair in the mornings. Well, there is an exception when I use Olaplex, for example, I wash my hair in the morning, but I wash my hair at night. So I wash my hair at night and I let it dry naturally. That means there is no heat being applied to it. Um, I know some women recommend silk sheets or silk uh, pillow sheets. I don't use that. I don't need it. I just have a regular pillowcase works. Um, and then in the morning when it's dried naturally, I don't have to blow dry it. I just use my curling iron, flat iron, and I apply heat to my hair that way. So those are the main things that I do to keep my hair healthy. Again, a lot of it is genetics, unfortunately. Um, but those are three things that I would recommend to you, especially the shampoo. I couldn't speak more highly of this shampoo. Um, but yeah, those three items I think have made a difference in my hair, especially when it needs it the most. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to talk to you about that. Um, but right now I'm going to go have breakfast. So I'm going to take you with me and then I'm going to film a little, uh, get ready with me kind of makeup tutorial with you and yeah then I'll, I'll bring you along with my day so let's go I've chatted for oh my god seven minutes guys this isn't good so I just finished filming a little kind of get ready with me and wow this is the mess that I am dealing with I gotta put all this away at least my diffuser is keeping my space calm <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna tidy this up. I have to um, steam my clothes because they're really wrinkly. And then I'm gonna get dressed. I still haven't had breakfast, so I need to eat. But I'm gonna get dressed and then um, I think we're gonna take some photos for Instagram. So that should be going up. I don't know, I don't know when. But yeah, um, that's the plan. So let me tidy this up. This pan is an absolute life changer. You can get it at Ikea, and sometimes I see them at like HomeSense, but it is a game changer for making eggs. And this is the breakfast, the other breakfast. If you're wondering what this is, this is an arepa. It is a Venezuelan dish. It's kind of like bread, it's made with corn flour, but it's super yummy. And for the cheese, since I don't eat dairy, I've been trying this brand out, Earth island cheddar style slices it's actually so good they're my favorite i will definitely be rebuying so that's breakfast Okay, so this is the outfit I'm shooting today. I was trying to decide whether to go with this purse or my little beige Kate Spade, but this is the outfit we're shooting. Honestly, it feels like I'm wearing pajamas when I wear this outfit. Um, it's just so, so comfy. Like, it's like this satin material. Honestly, it never needs to go out of style because it's just like wearing PJs all day. I also wore this yesterday and the day before. But, you know, what can you do? So, this is the reality of shooting heels in hand, but I'm wearing these lovely little, I think these are from American Eagle. Are they from American Eagle? I think they are. I think they're American Eagle. But, yeah, we're going to go find a little shooting location. From taking photos not too long ago, but I've got myself into, like, a comfy dress. And I'm gonna sit here and watch some Netflix. Um, I've been watching Gossip Girl, well, re-watching Gossip Girl recently. So I think I'm gonna watch that. Kissing Booth Part 2 came out and I'm gonna wait to watch it with my boyfriend. I'm, I'm sure he's not gonna wanna watch it with me, but I don't wanna watch it alone, so I'm gonna wait. But for now, I've got my sidekick with me. Yes, she has her own very sassy blanket but let's see let's find hey 
guys so i've just kind of put on this dress uh it's the one in my zara haul if you saw in my last video i'll put that up here but um we're just gonna head to get some errands done and maybe grab a coffee but yeah and I dropped off the Zara uh, trousers that kind of match my blazer as well as the leather pants from Aritzia so I'm gonna get those hemmed and hopefully I'll have them back next week so I can actually start wearing them um, so we did that we also got some things from Starbucks I of course got our croissant because I was really craving a croissant but now we are driving around I'm trying to figure out what's a good location to shoot some photos it's honestly harder than you think when i'm trying to figure out places like unique places for you guys to see so you don't get bored of the same backdrop so we just finished up at the sociable i'm sorry i didn't vlog but the food was really good and you know when you just get your food in front of you and you get a little bit carried away yeah that's what i did but we are going to go to shoppers now because this is what you do during covid when you have nothing else to do and you've been in the house all week you go to shoppers drug mart and you browse around, so. This is what we're doing. I'm doing the chocolate and caramel Klondike and whatever this bar is. Okay, sorry if you couldn't hear me in there because um, we did have to wear masks, but in short, I had a hand injury. Yep, I walked into a fixture. I'm not sure if that was the glass of wine I just had or I'm just being clumsy. But I got a Klondike bar. Um, I, I shouldn't be eating dairy because I know it's gonna make me super sick, but life is too short for that. You just gotta have have the ice cream. So ice cream is so good. It is now Saturday and I was gonna initially do like a one-day vlog but I was like you know what I'm gonna take you along on my Saturday too so right now I'm going to Toronto um, but before we stop there we we're stopping at Burlington Mall um, and I am on the hunt for this satin shirt that all of you have been asking about it's not online it wasn't on sale which tells me that it wasn't um, it wasn't like an old model that was going kind of being um, taken out so I'm literally gonna go to Ritzia just to be able to find this shirt for you guys to see if it's new or what's the deal so um, that's my plan for today I just I really want to make sure that you guys can find this shirt because I love it and I know you guys will love it too so that's the plan for today <laughs> I wanted to kind of catch you up on what happened so the one reason and the only reason I went to Aritzia was because so many of you had asked me about my satin top and uh, so if you watched my Aritzia sorry it was my Zara haul I was wearing like a, a taupey kind of brown colored satin top so I had bought that a week ago or so uh, maybe I think two weeks now it was in the new section of Aritzia. It was a full price. It wasn't on sale. And typically with Aritzia, if something is on sale, that means they're kind of discontinuing it and they're trying to get rid of it. 
So when I went online, of course I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna get the link and share it with you guys. I could not find it on the website. So I was like, what? Like, where is this top? Like, and I felt really, really, really bad because so many of you had asked me about this top. So here's my update for you. Um, that top, um, currently is not online um if you go into stores it is there um the girl didn't really know why it wasn't online she said that there is a chance that it is a fall piece and you're probably going to be seeing this up tomorrow on monday which will be the 27th um so their fall collection is said to be coming out next week and there is a chance that that top is a part of their fall collection which is why it's not online yet um so that's the update if it does come out with their fall collection i will be uh putting that link up for you right away um but if not you're unfortunately gonna have to go into stores and look for it that particular top is called relaxed that's the name of the top and then the color is pine bark um so yeah that's my update i'm really sorry that i can't link it for you i really really wish i could um so yeah you're gonna have to go into stores and i will keep checking aritzia um like as much as i can to see if that top becomes available for you um, and if it does, I will update you on my Instagram or on my next vlog if possible, but just keep checking back with me so I will update you on that. The other thing I wanted to kind of chat with you about was um, the Zara tops. Um, so there are two tops that will be going back to Zara. Hi. You can come in, just be quiet. <laughs> There are two tops that are going to be going back to Zara. The white one, you already know I didn't like it. And the second one that is going back is the black front tie top. Um, it is a beautiful top and it is really pretty. I just, I don't really see myself wearing it next season and the season after that. So for me, that just, yeah, that's, I think, going to go back. So... Yeah, that's kind of the update with that because I did tell you I was going to let you know what I was keeping and what I wasn't. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. You'll see this tomorrow because uh, so many of you wanted to see this on Monday. So I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.